The end of last week was crazy. I was going to get a book review done, and I did not have the opportunity to do it. So I'm hoping to be able to do it this week, because I have not done one in a while, and I really enjoy doing book reviews. So, but the end of last week had nice sunny weather. We were in the 50s yesterday. I was enjoying it. And then today, woke up. The trees were all covered in white. There was snow on the ground again. And we're supposed to get storms today, tomorrow, and Thursday. And then it's supposed to all turn sunny again. But it's still warm out here, though. I'm out here without a jacket on, and I don't have shoes on either. So normally this would all be wet during the winter. And this would be wet. There'd be ice about the third stair. And so, but yesterday I was out here and I walked around, got a checklist of stuff that's going to be, need to be done as the weather starts to warm up. Like that swan's head will need to be replaced somehow on this bird bath. I think I might just mix up some quick crete and put it on. So, but we'll see. So, and I found the rock that I, right there, that I shoveled, tossed over here. So when I was shoveling snow, it sits right here on this corner. And I have no clue why it's on that corner, why it's there. Anyways, so I shoveled it up and I was like, man, this load of snow feels a little heavier. So I picked up that load, chucked it. It hit the wishing well. And I thought, oh, I threw that rock. But I thought for sure that it wasn't going to be right there. It was going to be closer. Up this way, more towards the, not the wishing well. Yeah, the wishing well. Sorry, I thought I called it a bird bath. But I thought it'd be closer, but nope. So, and then I got yesterday all of the porch railing stuff. It was strung out between a few spots, but I got it all together and put into one spot. So that way we're not strung out, trying to find tools, trying to find project pieces, and it just, it's all cleaned out. I got this cleaned off today and swept off, so it's looking nice. And I've got a few ideas that I want to see if they'll work setting up some seating over in this area and then kind of leaving this more open but setting up like a fun little seating area because that's where everybody tends to congregate is out here out front or on the side there we're all just congregating talking and enjoying the warm weather and then yesterday we sneak through the house here This, my poinsettia, is blooming in March. And this one is still blooming. So this is got all its leaves mostly down here. And I think it's focusing more down here than it is up here because these leaves look just wilted and compared to these. So, but yeah. And I'm... This is here so it can defrost, and it's defrosted some. I'm trying something with that for dinner tonight. Anyways, sneaking through the house. The thermometer says it's almost 40. But yesterday we got all the ice that was on this side of that little bump, mountain, ice mountain there. We got all of this shoveled on this side and got... See, the wind blew the tarp off. I don't know why I bother with that tarp. It's, I cover things up, and then the tarp just comes off. I weigh the tarp down, it still comes off. So, anyways, but we got the ice chunks off here. That's one I threw that st stayed up there. But we got all of this shoveled off, and then the length of the washroom shoveled off as well. This is still thick, 
enough along this part here that we can't get the shovel under it yet. The stuff on the other side is loose and ready to go, but we just can't get that shovel underneath it yet. And then, in this way, out this door. This is melted more. The snow before it snowed last night was about even with the pump house, well, the well house. And now we've gotten more this way. The grass was pretty much melted except for that little spot on the bottom. But now I've got a patch there. So earlier it looked like it was raining, but everything is at a down. Like, because everything was melting off the ceiling. But now, let's see, just slipped on some shoes and snuck, snuck this way. It's gone down a lot right there. Let me see if I can. This is where we got the ice yesterday taken off. But right up here is, is about maybe like an inch, in some spots it's two inches almost, of ice that's under the snow that is melting now. So I'm hopefully we can get this off before that comes off. So, but it's progress. I'm enjoying the fact that I can see the grass, I can see ground, I can see mud, gravel. I can see things. I've got some plans also that I want to do this time. I am better with outdoor plants than I am with indoor house plants. I do great with garden starts and things, but if I am supposed to care for a house plant, I can't do that. I read the instructions, I follow the instructions that come with a plant, I Google how to do it, and I still kill the house plant. The poinsettias I'm learning as I go, so normally when I get them at Christmas, I will let them go and then once they die off and they're starting to lose the leaves, I trim them and then I will kind of just water it and take care of it throughout the year and see what happens. And so far it's always bloomed around Christmas time, but the one that I had from last Christmas did not bloom. So 2019's did not bloom at 2020. It is blooming at 2021's March. And 2020's is still going. So I surprised at myself with that. But this, I was able to get some dill and use that in cooking. And I just have, I think, some little small, small garden ideas that I want to do. I think I'm going to use these buckets again. I don't think I'm going to use down there again. That just did not, nothing grew. Either the seeds were too old that I planted, or there's just, they didn't take down there. There was something going on. So, nothing grew. It did up here. Um, we've seen, so far I've seen some deer kicking around. I've seen a couple skunks kick around, so we're getting spring. I'm, in, I'm enjoying the fact that I'm out, able to be outside without layers or wearing boots. So, okay, my imagination just got the best of me and I just got distracted by what I thought was something that just ran in the corner there, but it was a bird. I thought it was something bigger. Anyways, I'm going to keep going and knock off some more projects. So thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next video. Bye, guys.